sharper is the strike, the sharper is the exhale. Keep the back straight and don't take the stomach away, just tight. в конце делаешь, может, ты объяснишь вот это? Ну, я просто убираю удар, который остается там у него, я просто убираю. Окей. Okay. Вот you know, like at the end when the, the, the Michael has delivered enough strikes, he, he removes the, the extra uh, как энергию, что ли, силу, боли? Ну, как хочешь, назови. Yeah. The, the extra force that's still left in the body, he removes it, and the person feels better. Right? Okay. А как ты это делаешь? Ну, вы же видите. Я... You saw it. <laughs> okay. And there's also a general rule that you don't bend the arm, keep it straight. Um, like in the wrist, it's straight. So just raise the arm and lower it down. Mikhail was surprised himself to see so many Americans wanting to experience the strikes. Throughout the seminar, people were literally lining up to have their turn of Mikhail's punches. It is hard to believe, but beyond pain, these strikes charge with positive energy, add power and life to the body. In this knife demonstration, you see again how no attacks or patterns are ever pre-arranged. The most unique quality of Mikhail's work is his understanding of movement. He just knows how the opponent is going to attack him, and he moves together with him, practically anticipating his every move. <laughs> he shows that starting position is not important, and that there is no dependency on the knife at all. It is common for people to get stuck on watching and following the attacker's knife, and this inhibits the movement. Mikhail explained that having a knife is the obvious advantage over the bare hand, and any limitation in your movement makes you that much more vulnerable. Okay, so you'd like you to work in pairs, just feel the knife, uh, yeah, feel the knife on your body, so one person stabbing and the other one moving away from the line of attack, okay. What did you feel? Well, I've uh, worked with uh, different cultural knife fighting systems since 1977. And uh, some, of the, some of the techniques are, are very similar to the Russian style, but they put it together with a kind of energy flow that's more flexible than, than anything I've ever felt. And also there are many variations of 
body uh, dynamics and movements, which again, again I've never encountered. So it's, uh, it's very interesting, um, very fascinating, and uh, it's very high level. And that's from someone who's worked with Filipino instructors, Chinese instructors, Indonesian instructors for about 23 years now. Any questions? Every seminar participant who expressed a desire to work with Mikhail individually had a turn at that. People could choose any method of attacking, use any style of martial art, select any weapon or position. Only a portion of these sparring sessions made it into this film. So he hit it harder in the field. Just a little bit harder. What are you doing? The method of teaching of Mikhail Rybko is very different from most of the conventional schools. His main goal is to teach people to see. When a class is watching, there are few explanations or breaking the techniques down into components. And the amazing fact is that people do learn how to move just from observing. The demonstrations are always exciting and captivating. And later, when Mikhail works with people individually, he takes it to the next level and helps the students to make the moves that they picked out permanently their own. <laughs> I was always in some awkward position, no matter how I tried to come out of it. Uh, just the amount of, that, that he could anticipate what I was doing was just amazing to me. And also the amount of energy that he had and everything that he did, just one hand, it's just, uh, I, <laughs> it's unbelievable, really. tossed around, I have no control, it's like I throw an attack and I feel like the more, I, if I amped it, he would just toss me even harder and so I just wanted to take it nice and slow, but it was an incredible experience, I was very impressed.
Something else extraordinary happened both during our training in Russia and at the Denver seminar weekend. The word got out that Mikhail can give a precise and inspiring advice on any life situation. And in between training, people were lining up to ask Mikhail opinion on many personal dilemmas. Some came with lists of questions. The surprising thing was that Mikhail knew the exact answer to the question before the situation was even described to him, or he saw the real question behind the one asked, and he even answered the questions before the person had a chance to read them off the list. We asked Mikhail how can he possibly do that? Simple, he said, just be calm and do not expect anything from others and then you will be able to see things as they are. a brief demonstration of working with the sword. <laughs> We now see Mikhail demonstrating how to step and move around the partner and the proper footwork. Many people were amazed to see such a heavy set man moving with such lightness and agility. <laughs> we have all heard that doing the right things makes you feel happy. Mikhail makes us see how directly it applies to training. When you move in the right way, it brings happiness into your body, a sense of freedom and completeness. Anyone who ever tried to spar with Mikhail felt absolutely helpless, but never upset or hurt. <laughs> With all his outstanding skill and experience, Mikhail never calls himself a master or puts himself above anyone. He never tries to make an impression on his partner or on the audience. It doesn't matter to him who is better. He's only sharing and enjoying the work.
Michael would like you to do is uh, get in close, as tight uh, a crowd as possible. Uh, this is an exercise to feel your body yeah. to practice uh, self-defense as much as possible. Okay, and uh, try to like you're in a tight crowd and try to separate as much as possible. But in the meantime, deliver strikes and kicks and all the things that you've practiced uh, so far. Uh, and defend yourself. So try to get out of that uh, crowd, okay? <laughs> and as soon as you're spread out, then go back in into the crowd. Okay, okay. come closer, guys. We will fight. <laughs> Fighting in the crowd is a Russian training tradition. One of the hardest scenarios is what we see here each one fighting for himself. It really is a unique, incredible, and exciting experience of strikes, punches, and pushes coming from every direction. It forces you to look at your movements in a different way, quickly eliminates useless movements, and makes you realize the need to move constantly. It clears your mind and strengthens your spirit. Many participants ask to see some work using energy. And here's one such demonstration by Vladimir Vasilyev Mikhail's student, colleague, and friend. The physical contact here is minimal, and work takes place at the psychological, mental, and psychic levels of the partner. The same key principles of the system are used by all the practitioners. Natural, free movements, smooth, solid, and continuous. But everyone adds his own interpretation, personality, and talent to the system. In this case, you see the power of light, effortless moves and the incredible diversity of work. <laughs> okay, so the relax kind of, I guess, the, the basic movement is like that. You push him a little bit, push him, resist, 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 but honestly resist, resist here, resist. And then you push. <laughs> because the, the density comes here, when you take away the density, resist again. Density.
We are now in Germany. Mikhail was called here to teach a seminar for a German special operations unit. He then came to this Russian martial arts school in Augsburg, where he and Vladimir taught an intense two-day seminar for the civilians. You see a few moments from that seminar. Some of Mikhail's work with the German students was different, but the people were just as amazed and excited. Upon Mikhail's request, we're inviting anyone who wishes to train with him to join us for our annual summer trip to Moscow.